In this video, we'll classify the groups of order 6 up to isomorphism. It will turn out that the only two results are C6, the cyclic group of order 6, and D6, the dihedral group of order 6, which happens to also be isomorphic to the symmetric group on three letters, uh, for a total of two groups of this order. Notice that 6 is 2 times 3, that is, it's 2 times a prime. So my video on the groups of order 2 times p will give us this result, which I'll link to. However, we can do it directly using less technology. The required knowledge for the proof that I'm about to provide is going to be Lagrange's theorem and Cauchy's theorem. So let's say G is a group of order 6. Since 3 divides the order of the group and 3 is prime, then by Cauchy's theorem, there is going to exist an element A in the group such that the order of A is equal to 3. That is, A cubed is the identity element and A is not the identity element itself. So notice that um, the cyclic group generated by A is a subgroup of G of index 2, which must mean that this group is a normal subgroup. Now let's take some B in G, but not that cyclic subgroup. Now I claim that we must have that B squared is in the cyclic subgroup. Why is that? Well, because um, the quotient group G quotient in L by A has order two. So any, um, so any element of the quotient group must have order two. This implies that the coset B of the cyclic subgroup has its square equal to um, the cyclic subgroup, i.e. The, the trivial coset. So B squared is going to be in there. So if B squared is equal to A or A squared, then since A has order 3, A and A squared have order 3, which means that the order of B squared is 3, which means that the order of B is 6. But this is a group of order 6 with an element of order 6. Therefore, this cyclic subgroup is just equal to G. Therefore, G is isomorphic to the cyclic group of 6 elements. So, what if B squared is the identity? Well, also, um, observe that B A B inverse is going to be in this subgroup A, this subgroup generated by A. Why is that? Well, remember we just saw that this is a normal subgroup and that's just the definition of normal subgroup. So B A B inverse is going to be E A or A squared. If B, A, B inverse equals E, then let's multiply both sides by B on the right to get B, A equals B. Now let's multiply by B inverse on the left on both sides. We're going to get A is equal to E, but that's a contradiction since the order of A is 3. So if B, A, B inverse is equal to A, then B A equals A B. Since these elements commute, the order of A B is going to be the lowest common multiple of the order of A and the order of B, which is uh, going to be uh, 6. So again, we have an element of order 6, and we've seen this before, so we know it's the same logic, it must be the cyclic group of order 6. Finally, if B A B inverse 
equals a squared, which is equal to a inverse, because a is over order 3. Well, then let's just have a look at this subgroup of G that is generated by A and B. Well, if we write this out um, in full, it's going to be the group generated by A, B, such that A cubed is B squared, which is the identity, and B, A, B inverse equals A inverse. Well, what does this presentation look like? This is just the presentation of D6. And, well, if we have D6 as a subgroup of G, and G is itself of order 6, that is, the orders of these groups match, then we must have that G is isomorphic to D6. And that proves the result. Therefore, the groups of order 6 are C6 and D6. I mentioned at the beginning that D6 is isomorphic to S3. How is that the case? Well, if we think about what D6 is, it's the symmetries of the triangle via rotations and reflections. If we draw our triangle and we have a look at what these and we have a look at what these um, do, if we label the vertices one, two and three, any rotation is just going to be a, uh, a three cycle. So for example, we'd have, 1 goes to 2 goes to 3, and uh, if we went the other way, we'd have 1 goes to 3 goes to 2. And any reflection is going to fix one vertex and flip the other two. So we get these transpositions. And then also we have the just do nothing. And well, that those are just the elements of S3. So... D6 is isomorphic to S3.